everybody. Today I'm gonna be talking about the common problems of the Freilander Cascadia. I'm gonna start by talking about the body of the Freilander Cascadia. One of the main problems of the body of the Freilander Cascadia is the hood. Over the time, the hood brackets, the ones that are here, these ones right here, they break. They break from here. And they also get unglued from here. There is glue holding the bracket all the way so over the time the glue gets uh, bad and the whole bracket comes out to see water coming inside your uh, cab in the dashboard in the other side of the windshield uh, and the main cause of that is because the clearance slides over there they tend to leak water uh, because the seals are not strong enough to hold the water. So the dashboard in this Cascadia doesn't present that many problems. The only problems you're gonna see, especially if you have the uh, optional instrument coaster, then the gauges are not working properly. Sometimes the cabinet they break the little locks. They break. This one is break is broken as you can see. So you can replace just the lock. It's a very common problem for the Cascadia. This one doesn't uh, lock no more because this one is broken. So uh, to replace that, you can only remove these screws over here and buy the new one and put it back. Now I'm gonna talk about the engine. Uh, this is a DD15 engine. It's a very common engine on Fernando Cascadia. I'm gonna start by talking about the oil leaks, which is a very common problem on DD15 engines. Uh, I'm gonna say then the most common problem with oil leaks is the can housing here you see this oil leak coming here and on the back right there right here if there is oil over there the can housing is leaking and the uh, injector line seals these ones right here they leak oil as you can see these are leaking oil uh, the fuel pump and air compressor, the air compressor is okay right there, it's really hard to see it, it's right there. Uh, they tend to leak a lot of oil, so it's a very common problem. And the oil, my oil cooler housing, the oil cooler housing is this one right here. It leaks from the bottom right there, there is a seal leaks over the time. Uh, and to fix that you have to replace the seals, right? So I'm gonna go from oil leaks to coolant leaks. The coolant leaks on this Freiner Cascadia are very common too. One of the most common ones are the surge tank, this one right here. As you can see, this one is leaking. Uh, it leaks from the um, sensor, from the level sensor, or because the coolant tank is cracked. Other areas are water pump, it leaks from here. Hoses then are loose sometimes and inside the calf the heater core gets bad over the time and start leaking coolant. Uh, the way you're gonna know that the heater core is bad is then when you turn the AC or the heater on you smell coolant inside the car. The problems I'm going to mention are fuel pump, a fuel, fuel quality valve and this this one right there fuel quantity valve right there and this is the fuel pump they usually break over the time it's normal after many years of use and after many miles uh, the air compressor right there breaks over the time too you know normal after more than 500,000 miles uh, sometimes the uh, oil cooler gets bad and you're gonna see your coolant tank getting black because of the oil is leaking inside the coolant system uh, it's very normal, especially trucks that have more than 600,000 miles. The problems I can mention is EGR failure, uh, harness, uh, engine harness failure, the EC uh, MCM harness failure. Uh, it's not very common to see turbo failure on these uh, DD15 engines, but sometimes it happens. Exhaust manifold leaks is very, very little. Uh, very small amount of trucks that have that problem, but it's possible. Uh, the crankcase filter right there is this one right here. Usually gets plugged over the time and they start building pressure. It's a not very common problem, but happens. One of the most 
catastrophic failures of the DD15 engine is the crankshaft and cylinder liner failure. Over the time the crankshaft fails because of the oil pressure failure, sometimes the orings are not holding the pressure enough and you drive your truck for long periods of time and this causes a very catastrophic damage to your crankshaft. And the cylinder liners, they usually break over the time. There is not a reason why they break, they just break from the bottom and they start leaking coolant to the oil and the engine doesn't work right. So this is all I'm going to mention about this existing engine because the list is very long. Uh, if you want to know about uh, more problems with the D15 engines, I want to make another video specifically just for D15 engines. Okay, I want to talk about transmissions. There is many different transmissions for this uh, Ryanair Cascadia. You have the automatic ones and you have the 9, 10 and 13 speeds. Those are the very common ones. Of course, you can have the 15 and 18, 15, uh, 18 speeds, but those are optional. So the only problem with this is the, the shift stick gets loose over the time because the bushing the knees or the knee gets loose. So it's very easy, you have to replace this, the, the bushing. And uh, all you have to do to maintain this transmission in good condition is try to do your uh, shifting in a right in the right timing and replace the oil and don't use the clutch unnecessarily unless it's completely necessary all that's all you have to do to maintain this transmission in a good condition uh, okay, differentials on this Freiner Cascadia there are so many different differentials there are a couple uh, different differentials but in resume there is no much problem to spec if you do good maintenance to it. I recommend to replace the oil every 300,000 miles. If you have a truck that have more than 500,000 miles, I mean, if you buy a truck that have more than 5,000 miles, I recommend to replace the oil in both differential, the front and the rear. Because uh, this differential, they don't have that many problems unless the oil is old and then tend to have problems like bearings and uh, internal components of the differential getting uh, worn uh, faster than expected. The suspension with the Freiner Cascadia. If you have the 2011 in up uh, Freiner Cascadia, there are no many problems with the suspension. Maybe you wanna have the normal problems like king pins or ball joints and shock absorbers uh, problems. There are no problems like, oh, something breaks but if you have the 2009 to 2011 truck the trucks then don't don't have def uh, they have the spring with only one spring on the back there is two springs on the front but there is only one in the back the ones are like that they have problems usually over the time the leaf springs breaks and causes very severe problems because you are not able to drive the truck far. Uh, this is the very common problem on Freiner Cascadias, especially the ones from 2009-2011. Okay, the rear suspension of the Freiner Cascadia has normal problems as any Freilander. Uh, the bushings, uh, normal wear over the time after many miles. The tore arm, the bushings where to the bushings go bad and you have to replace the tor R or just the bushings and the air springs they usually leak a lot of air uh, so the, the best solution to repair all that is repair replace the air springs repair bushing on time and you will have no problems with your truck but it's a it's a very common problem to find in any Freelander Cascadia any Freelander Cascadia they have more than 400,000 miles Okay, I want to talk about the AC. There are some problems with the AC. The most common problems are the AC condenser leak, air compressor uh, damage over the time, the front blower uh, failure over the time, and AC hoses leak. Uh, it's a very normal problem. I mean, are common, very common problems, especially the AC condenser problem. It's a very common problem in front of the cascadias. Other problems are normal to happen over the time. 
Okay, now I'm gonna talk about the air leaks on the Fresnel Cascadia. The most common air leak on the Fresnel Cascadia is from the fitting, then goes to the air compressor. There is a little fitting right there, this hose right here, a small hose, then has a fitting, then goes to the compressor. And this line goes to the air dryer right here. This is another fitting right here. It's a very common air leak. Uh, to repair that, you have to replace the fittings, and that's all. Okay, other common problems I can mention with air leaks is these fittings right here, this one right here, they tend to leak air over the time from here. And you're gonna hear a lot of loud noise, air leak noise coming from here. Other area is the rear area right here. It's called manifold, this one right here, and connects to these hoses right here. That air manifold leaks air, a lot of air. So you have to replace that. It's a very, very common problem on Fernandez Cascadias. And it doesn't matter what year, they're gonna be leaking air, a lot of air from that area. Okay, other common problems I can mention about Fernandez Cascadias are city horn not working, clutch switch failure, the clutch switch goes bad over the time, power steering system failure, a chamber leaks, PC bell, fan bell, and tensioner failure, doser injector failure, DPF and SCR system failure, radiator coolant leaks, especially from the bottom, seals and wheel hub leaks over the time, and engine electronic components failure. Okay, so this is all the problems I want to mention about the common problems of the Freilander Cascadia. But I'm going to make clear that I am not saying that this is a bad truck. I'm just saying that it has problems, as any other truck. If you have uh, the way to prevent these problems, all you have to do is to do good maintenance to it. And don't, uh, don't drive it hard, just drive it as smooth as you can, and it will last long. Are the engine problems that almost any Cascadia will have? But to cover all the engine problems is very uh, long list, so I'm gonna make another video specifically just for the 15 engines. So if you have any questions about this video, just comment below and I will answer them as soon as I can. Please like the video, share it, subscribe, and thank you for watching.